And now looking at your journey of building your business, are there any lessons that you'd like to offer someone who is either on the same journey or contemplating starting a business? It has to be about doing what's right and living your passion because it's a lot of work. Um, you can't turn it off. It is not a job. It is, it is a lifestyle that you're going to adopt. And you better be sure that you're very, very passionate about what, you, what you've chosen to do. I know people say passion is everything, but it really, really is. You don't feel like you're at work when you're living what you, you believe. You're getting up every day and you don't ever have to remember what you said to somebody because as long as you're speaking the truth, it, it is part of your, your character and it's consistent, your uh, messaging. So being honest and being ethical, you must be ethical in everything that uh, that you do, no matter what to, um, what you decide to do as an entrepreneur, ethics must be there. Such important values. And I'm just curious, you know, where, uh, where do you think you got the values that you hold so dearly to yourself? I honestly think I got my, my values from, well, one from reading, two from religion, and three from learning who I didn't want to be. Mm. I've met and have been exposed to numerous people in my lifetime, even as a child, I knew who I didn't want to be and I wasn't going to let myself go there. Mm -hmm. And did you ever want to give up any at any time through your journey? <laughs> Not give up, but sometimes I, when people acted in bad faith or you ran across those mean people, um, just the sadness, you know, the depth of the sadness was sometimes overwhelming. And you've said, you know, the dedication to your company's mission. And as an entrepreneur, it's a 24 seven endeavor that you take on and it affects your family life. It comes at a huge cost. So what are some of those lessons that you've taken away and what advice might you have for young parents or others with caregiving responsibilities? Operating an organization um, that carries significant uh, risk for your your family is a, is a lifestyle. So you have to figure out how to incorporate your family into the lifestyle that you've uh, uh, chosen. And so my husband and I, we never went on vacation for years and years and years. It, it, every time we had spare time, it, our time was with our, our children. We didn't go out and, and socialize um, and go to events and, and all of that that took us away from our, our uh, children. And so I think it's very, very important to have a stable home life mm -hmm. as much as you, you possibly can and not be afraid to um, bring your children to work with you when you have to. And I, you know, I do have a funny story. I had been waiting forever for the most important meeting of my life. And most entrepreneurs could tell you that those meetings take a long time to get. And the night before that meeting, my son got crew. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, coming from a traditional family, um, my husband could never take a day off work to help with the children. It had to be, it had to be me. But uh, knowing that I had this extremely important uh, meeting, I had to call my own company. And um, they sent a, a nurse over to the uh, house to uh, help take care of my son so that I could go. My son found the humor in it all and still tells that story to this, to this day. Uh, the other thing I did to be able to live and understand is we uh, fostered a young girl who had a genetic problem. And so we brought her into our, our lives. We didn't have her there 24 seven. She would come for um, respite. It was a real learning lesson for my children and for my husband as to what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And so we, we provided respite for her until she was adopted, but a significant lesson for the entire family. In a traditional Italian family, it's the woman who takes on the caregiving responsibilities. So how did you manage that while building your company and having little kids? You know, it's interesting. Um, people ask, ask me that all the time. And I just have to say to people, you know what? I didn't think about it. 
I just knew that this is what I had to had to do, and I knew I didn't have a good little fairy um, to help me out. I always told my husband he had a good little fairy to help him out because um, he he could never have told you how the children got vaccinated or anything like that. He didn't have a clue um, or how the groceries got in the fridge. But um, I just didn't think about it. I just did it. If you think too much, you'll you'll feel sorry for yourself. <laughs>